Hey YouTube, we're here with this uh, beautiful De Havilland 100 Vampire. I just want to demonstrate the CG. Um, this is something that was uh, a bit of a task to come to. The CG is not as the book, the manual would have you to believe. Uh, they want it to be here. I want it to be here. That's a big difference on a wing like this. Um, originally, I'd moved it to there. Had better success with the servo channel. Plus, it's really easy to find. Um, so, obviously, as you know, on my uh, De Havilland, I've got flaps, uh, split flaps, and then dual rudders, which added some weight to the tail. But the most recent mod that really threw it off further was the carbon fiber spar here, 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 and here. So, in doing so, I had to readjust the center of gravity. I wanted to be able to use the 2200 milliamp packs as well as the 3300 milliamp packs. So, you can see it centers the gravity's out great on the desirable point. And I want to show you how I did that. I basically added in some counter nose weight, if you will. And I don't like to have to add dead weight, but if I want to use 2200 milliamps, I also made it so that I can stick it further in. Um, I took these pieces of foam, cut them out, added a bunch of uh, bolts, actually five on this side and four on this side. And basically the bolts that I was using uh, was nothing special. It was just a like a standard, whatever this is, just a little bolt. I got a bunch of these around. They they come as leftovers from projects that I do at work. And then I made this other one here, same thing. There's only four on this side. Now the reason I did that was because back here we've got a servo back here, so on this side uh, we only have the four. And then I just put some arrows and different things. Uh, put tape all the way around them so that they're really easy to get in there inserted. And uh, the idea is you want to be able to push those in there and just get them tight. And then that'll help to hold the battery in also, uh, because obviously with this 2200 milliamp, you're not under the strap. And I didn't want to have to figure out a new strap. So we can pull those out. And you can pull out the battery, which is in there pretty good. It's got a little bit of a pressure fit to it, which is what you want. Um, and you can see I just had to take out some of that material and uh, opened up this pocket some. When I open up these pockets, by the way, I try not to cut it out. I try to use heat to actually melt it so you don't lose that weight. I did have to cut out a small handful of uh, foam on this one. So 2200 milliamp, that centers out right where we want. So now let's demonstrate how it centers out with a, a 3300. This is 3300 4S60C as opposed to 2200 4S60C, okay? So same uh, apples for apples. The only difference, of course, would be the um, the 3300 versus 2200, so it's about a third bigger. Incidentally, I'm going to show you the measurements in weight uh, as to the difference there. Now, this one is also allowed to slip a little bit further forward than it had been previously, and I'll just show you how this thing's going to CG out. Obviously, we'll have a little battery tester in there, but other than that, it's pretty much as it's going to be for flight. And going right to that spot, that thing centers centers just slightly behind, maybe a millimeter uh, behind where the 2200 is. So again, we're going right to the servo channel here and here. And it's really nice because you can feel that X. It's just super easy to find. So also, it just flies. It glides gorgeously um, with that center of gravity. And let's just show you how much weight, um, in terms of efficiency, my big issue with adding dead weight is I can put a bigger battery. That's the way I want to do it if I can. Well, the thing is I got three of these and I got three of these, one of which is kind of crappy. Um, but on this, uh, it, it just flew really good. Well, now that I've got extra weight, it may not fly so hot. So what I did is I got my, um, my little crappy scale that I put together uh, from Broken Crap because I work on industrial scales for a living. Got 3300. Let's put it on there. And uh, let's just go to grams. So 383 grams compared to 261. This is how much weight I had to add, which is ridiculous. But obviously this is further forward. And, uh, sorry guys, because it's further forward, 
we don't quite have as much weight. So we're saving about 50 grams, 55 grams there, because this is about 331 compared to 383. So let's just call it 50 grams of weight savings on a plane this size adds up. That's actually a pretty significant savings. But the idea is it's gonna CG, it's gonna be easy, it's not a big deal to, to, to go ahead and just, what I'll do is I'll just leave these inside the plane, um, and then when I'm ready to fly, depending on which battery I put in there, obviously it ain't gonna fit if it's too wide, because this is too wide, because this battery goes in like that, and you can see there's a significant enough of, uh, difference that it's not gonna be like, hey, I forgot which one goes in there. So anyway, guys, just wanted to let you know uh, what a beautiful plane, guys. Oh, and then real quick, we'll just scan over here. Doobity-doo. Got a little teaser for you here. What do we have here? We've got some LEDs. Going for some triple lights. Some triple, double lights there. Actually, these are double, triple filaments for the white. Just working on that still. And uh, should have a video to you. Oh, in the next day or so, tried getting this video um, about an hour ago and had a problem with the camera. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Give you one more shot of this beaut. Gosh, this thing is awesome. Thank you, Multirotor Go, for recommending that I do this plane. It's been a joy to work with. It flies even better. Usually, Hobby Kings become the next turd to sit on the ceiling and not be used. But this plane is probably going to take, I mean, goodness gracious, guys, I got my F-14 over here, one of my favorite planes of all time, and she sits on the ceiling most of the time because she's just not a great plane. Not a bad plane, but this thing is a good plane, and uh, got a lot of mods to prove it. When I like a plane, I do mods. I make it even better. This has been a very good plane. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to get notifications, click the bell. I would love to bother you frequently with my new videos.